So, you are Andrew Olson, Bug Enthusiast. How did that come about? Well, I've always liked animals and enjoyed the idea of having pets, but any time I had a pet that would die, I'd become really sad about it. So, in bugs, I found something that was interesting to keep, but uh, didn't involve a lot of emotional investment. Um, and then the bugs I keep also have the added advantage of having a very minimal upkeep so that I can have a bunch of different ones and work on breeding projects and not have my time just uh, completely devoured by it. I notice your hair and beard are much shorter than they've appeared in some of your previous work. What's up with that? Well, I tried the civilized look and I found that I don't care for it. Uh, I think I'm going to be growing all my hair and beard and uh, I'll sh I should be getting back to looking like my regular self uh, within a year or so. I see. So what are you up to these days critter-wise? Um, currently I'm mostly interested in local species, either local to the area I live in or local to the United States. Um, a lot of people seem to be under the impression that you know, it's kind of only the exotic stuff that's interesting. And I've found there's um, actually quite a few really fascinating bugs that live in Arizona especially, but, uh, you know, the rest of the United States as well. Venomous bugs seem to be a major interest for you. Do you have any interesting stories or anything like that? One of the more interesting things I think I've done is to try to figure out what species of centipedes in the hobby are going to hurt people more and hopefully hurt people less if they get bit by them. Uh, it was my belief that because we didn't really have a good grasp of what centipedes were safe and what centipedes would really put a hurt on you, I felt like the hobby was kind of stunted because of that. And so, in the course of that, uh, I had three bites that were really quite painful. Um, it feels like kind of a mixture of a bad sprain to almost a broken bone. And um, that can last for one to three days in the severe form of pain, and then uh, with like um, durable effects for the next maybe month and I was bitten by a Thai jewel centipede and a black-headed Tanzanian tiger centipede and a yellow-legged form of a blue-legged centipede and those three bites were all very painful and um, something that I could hope, I, I would hope that other hobbyists could avoid because of my uh, sort of research in that area. It's always been a kind of dream of mine to find a low-cost sort of homemade remedy for a centipede bite uh, so that if you do get bit by a species that's bad, uh, you could treat yourself and avoid the worst aspects of the pain. Do you have any giant centipedes you can show us now? I sure do. This Scolopendra heroes, and uh, my brother and I caught this a few months ago, and let's see if it's going to, hmm, seems a little crabby right now. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure it's just going to bite me, and then my hand will be all swollen for a few days, and large part of my job right now involves typing rather quickly, which would definitely be impeded were I to get bit by a centipede. Hmm. Not that I'm really afraid of getting bit exactly, it's just it would be really inconvenient. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to bite me if I try to pick it up. 
Well, thank you, Andrew. Uh, I really had fun on our little interview today. I hope you had the same.